I don't care if you work out or not. Me and Tony will whoop your ass. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, you I, can, I, I mean, you I can don't. try. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, you I could don't. give it a gallant effort. I will. <laughs> I will actually guarantee. Morning, We're having fun. If before we get started. Yeah, um, I got yeah. I got legs I that got could one. kick a head off of. I got one. I got one. I got legs that could <laughs> kick the head off a lion. So I mean, you could try. Yeah, but... that's another story. And speaking of it, we could try. We're actually talking about a brand new movie with Jamie Fox and Tommy Lee Jones called The Burial. <laughs> talking about burials. <laughs> Good segue. Uh, good segue. Janelle, you got a chance to see the burial. Let's talk about it. What do you think about it? Um. It was it was good. It was good for the streaming. I, I know it's going to be in select to the theaters, but I really do think it's really geared towards prime video release. I think it's it it has a terrible name. <laughs> it, it, the burial is not, but it it's a good courtroom drama. I do think it lacks the gravitas of like if you're looking for like a, a I'm sorry, a John Grisham type of like deep courtroom drama. It's a little bit more Hallmarky vibes than that. Um, they do touch on some serious issues. They do touch on race and slavery. I don't think, in my opinion, enough. I think they kind of, they talk about it, but you don't really get the extent of what that Lowen group was doing, <clears throat> excuse me, to that community. Oh, yeah. I agree. Um, it is a it is a feel-good movie. I mean, it's it's hard to spoil it because it's a true story. It is out there. I think the cast was excellent. I think the way Jamie Foxx and Tommy Lee Jones played off of each other was fantastic. I think he brought something out of Tommy Lee Jones that we probably haven't seen. I feel good. On, right, on, <laughs> on screen before. So I think they worked great. Um, people should stick around for the credit scene. It's cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think it was okay, but I do think it's set more for streaming. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Streaming too. Um, it's a shame. It's it, you can't say it's more theater. It's only in select theaters across the country. But you're also true too. They really don't get into the the what's happening with corporations and how not just the Lowen Group, but how the corporations period go after the African American market and don't keep the promises and really take advantage and exploit it. And that's exactly what this film should have been a lot more of than what it was. And it's based on a true story. I agree with you on that. Jamie Foxx, Tommy Lee Jones, I love them in that. It was crazy. It was really good. Um, it was interesting to see our friend from Ferris Bueller be a part of that too. Everybody's getting old around here. You'll get a chance to see it. I'm not gonna say who it is, but- uh, But wait a minute, side note. He's, he's been in succession. So he has actually been around. Wow, he's been around for a yeah. minute. Okay, great. Tony, what'd you think? Like, you know, I hate to use, to use the same thing Janelle said. It is a feel-good movie. And there's, you know, understand the reference there in a little bit. It's got a lot of charm and a lot of heart, and it does deal with a sensitive subject here and there. I don't think it touches on it as, as heavily as some might think, but we talked about racism. We talked about racial interactions in, in you know, 1999, Southern Mississippi, but it really is funny. There's a lot of humor here involved. Like you said, Tommy Lee Jones and Jamie Foxx really bring it out of each other. They did a great job. Uh, I thought this is one of Mamadou Athey's, one of his better roles so far. Got to take a, a bigger a bigger swing. And then Journey Smollett is really intimidating with her character as well. You know what's coming. <laughs> it really doesn't reinvent the wheel here. You know what's coming. It's procedural. But it still manages to just hook you in and entertain you. It takes a lot of you know emphasis from Aaron Brockovich, uh, from my cousin Vinny, and from a little bit from A Few Good Men. So you like you've seen it before, but it just it for some reason it just works, and I really can't explain why. Okay, what would you rate it, Tony? I give it four out of five. Um, you know, it's it's it is very entertaining. It'll be streaming on Prime Video here this Friday, October thirteenth. Um, but it's a good cast, a good story, a lot of heart, and it touches on some things that maybe you didn't think about. You know, such as the whole the baby boomers death era and how people would try to profit off that. So yeah, but four out of five for me. I'd say four out of five, too. Definitely. I have to agree with you. It was a great movie. It was a true story. Again, they didn't really get into what they should have gotten into a little bit more. But four out of five was very entertaining. Janelle? I would give it anywhere between a three and a half and a four. It's like I said, it's it's good. It's just it's not you when you when it touches upon the serious stuff, it then it feels like it pulls it back too quick. And so like the scene with uh, you don't want to give it away, but with certain the characters on the witness scene you just feel like it touches that line but you're 
you actually want more information, which maybe is a good thing, but I just feel like they could have, if you were going to, if you were going to attack that subject, maybe you should have fully fleshed it out. There we go, folks. That's the burial. It's streaming on Apple. Is it Apple? Prime. 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 It's streaming on Prime. I've been corrected. It's streaming on Prime. It's in select theaters, something you definitely need to see. James Thomas along with Janelle and Tony. We'll see you next week.